ओके ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ अक्टूबर पेपर भूतान एंड चाइना मेक प्रोग्रेस इन द बॉर्डर ट्रक्स ओके सो भूतान इज लाइक नो सन फॉर इंडिया ओके भूतान इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक ऑलमोस्ट इज ट्रीटेड लाइक अ प्रोटेक्टेड स्टेट वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दट विल टेक केयर ऑफ भूतान फॉर एवरीथिंग so for example even we don't have food we will supply food to bhutan okay feel so many things okay so since from the beginning it is like that but china always want to have control over bhutan so that it can play with india so that is a thing so here bhutan and china and uh, even story with nepal is also not exactly like bhutan bhutan is completely like one of the indian states india the way bearing trade madte valwa like that nepal also were having good relation but there is a conflict always uh, one hindu majority group is there in the nepal and other factions are also there so if india supports nepal in their internal matters other people will cry that they are supporting hindus and they are doing that if does not support hindu people will cry there in india being a hindu majority country not helping us so that game is always uh, will be going on okay and uh, even earlier actually china always trying to take control of this chicken neck okay see nepal and bhutan becomes very important for uh, china correct no so here this is china this is nepal this is bhutan okay always with nepal and bhutan <coughs> if china gets this area means here this is called a chicken neck why it is called a chicken neck see if this road is blocked ah complete see loss of control of north eastern states so always china asks that arunachal pradesh belongs to china okay five palm theory means five finger theory palm and finger theory so uh, this is tibet okay this palm is tibet and these fingers represent like from uh, siach into arunachal pradesh got it so in the jammu kashmir that place is mine okay so here if you come sikkim okay then arunachal pradesh so from end to end so it says that this belongs to china right so if this all around uh, 20 to 30 kilometers uh, wide if that is blocked then we can take control of this one easily so always it wants to have of good relation with uh, nepal and bhutan earlier also it asked so you know for nepal that said we will give 400 km area on top in the eastern part you just give us a smaller area in exchange because they want to have control so india is also having a good relation with nepal and bhutan okay so see so this news why it important it is important so why china is uh, uh asking means uh, there is small state bhutan with that why it is having such really means uh, talks and all 
to solve the problem. If it decides, it can attack and take it. Okay, so that is not important for China. It is not. If it attacks, the oh, whole world will uh, uh, revolt against China. You are not allowing small countries to live. Andre, you must understand why the big country like uh, China. Can you imagine the size? Correct, no? So the size of China much much bigger than India, and that is talking about this small state, Bhutan. In one day, it can decide to occupy means it can cover it up. That is not the thing. So, with respect to India, it becomes important. <clears throat> See that too. This is actually twenty fifth round of discussion. Imagine a small state; it is having twenty five rounds of discussion. And this is how you have to read the news. Oh. Some China both on talks are going on. Twenty fifth round. Okay, done. Why uh, you need to think uh, this is small thing that is big. Why such importance given to both on? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think today president is visiting Bangalore, right? Today president is visiting Bangalore, so for additional judge swearing in ceremony is there. Yeah, so we discussed the news, right? So many posts are vacant, vacant judges post. Government is not clearing, or it is clearing just based on some names. Okay, then again recently it cleared so many judges. So in high court. Uh, Uh, what is the judge? Means what we call for the judges. So, what type of judges are available? One is CJ of the High Court, Chief Justice of the High Court. Other than that, hmm? High Court judges, correct? So, today the swearing in is for additional, yeah. additional judges. Sorry. Mute, mark, calling. Yen yalla online alle kuch kamuti dera. On the bad question, then all man will be able to Next, so so much matter full barad. Adabya matan the bad barad. So additional judge swearing in is there? Who is additional judge? Who is additional judge? Akshara. Yes, who is additional judge? More? More uh, hmm. So, whenever there is a shortage, then they require more judges. So, so they will take him as the additional judges. Okay. So, in uh, Supreme Court, for them we call as ad hoc judges. There we call ad hoc judges. Here it is. Additional judges. In ad hoc judges, what is the difference? If the quorum is less, quorum means uh, already number of judges in the Supreme Court is fixed. That is 33 plus 1. So if it is less than 33, then they will take ad hoc judges. But in uh, high courts, it is not like that. Number of judges is not like this many is fixed. So then we hear it is called as when the work burden is more, they will take more judges. That is called as additional judges. Whenever his news item comes, tomorrow it will come. After the president comes, definitely it will be covered. Or in maybe today's paper, it will be mentioned. Correct, no? Not like that, they are coming. Bangalore edition, it will be.
it's not given actually. Some news is going on. I hope you know that that uh, Vartur Prakash was arrested. That yeah, not finger nail, nail of the tiger that uh, using as a pendant. Okay, so why? What is wrong in it? After death, uh, they may be using that uh, nails. No, I am saying after the death of the tiger, if they are using the nails, what is the problem? I am hmm? saying natural death. After that, what is the problem in using that nail? Dilip. What is it? Hmm. It belongs to government. What is it? It belongs to government. It belongs to government. Yes. So, before 1972 Wildlife Act. So, it protects animals that are based upon the importance. Like Schedule 1, Schedule 2, Schedule 3. Tiger comes in Schedule 1. Highest importance is given for those animals. Recently also we discussed some unwanted things are also uh, added in the Schedule 1. It says that, sir, before 1972, if you were having something, no department and just declare we are having this because later somebody should not claim that it belongs to earlier period. So once the tech came that they announced whoever is having because they are having skin of tiger. So they, that was earlier people used to have. Earlier movies you watch uh, villain house will be shown like uh, like uh, skin of tiger uh, tusk of uh, elephants Correct, no? So, that was the, there. So, you declare it. Get the certificate from the forest department and you continue to hold. But after that 1972, so you cannot have it. It belongs to government. Okay. At that time also, either you submit to government or if you declare and keep it for, with you. Oh, after that, whether it is dead or whatever, it belongs to government. Okay. So, you cannot even purchase so that option itself is not there, whether it is after death or before death. So you, you want, because if it is increased, somehow they want to have it. So that is the reason. Uh, so you cannot do that uh, purchase, selling, uh, and uh, that is not, not allowed at all. Okay. So, but they were having all the, means they are wearing that. So that is why it's a various serious, uh, means it's a serious offense. What is that jail term? Seven years. Seven years jail term for having that. Okay. So, the forest uh, department has constituted a special task force to deal with the barrage of complaints about the celebrities and common people wearing tiger claws and look into the status of past cases. So, wildlife artifacts. <laughs> Others, I don't know. Jagesh himself has, I uh, uh, know, before in one interview, has uh, said that this is original uh, tiger nail. Others, at least, they will escape. Uh, this is uh, artificial or something. The, the options is uh, options are at least open. Okay, that also they don't. Hmm? In writing, they will say that. Just for boosting, I said like that. Hmm? That is not what is done. Like that, they will tell. Test will be conducted. Wait and watch. Do you think that all four people will go behind bars? No. <laughs> 
and you understand only wildlife act you don't worry about uh, jagesh or uh, darshan hmm ara fans idira so dasara happened no what is the of that tambari 750 kg okay so chamundeshwari is carried in that no so that is called as utsav murti okay so then how many types of murtis are there one is carried in garbha ha it is never going to be how many types are there how many you have observed this is utsav murti how many types are there see this is how the in culture they will ask some big uh, festival is happening dasara so what question i can frame utsav murti so how many types of murtis are there hmm nodil one order tira oh, yes one is garbha graha then <coughs> so snapan bear bali bear okay and uh, bear means that uh, idol okay so one we snapan bear means for abhishek they will use no for abhishek okay for bathing there sana marsa no there will be like different for some uh, not everywhere the same thing for abhishek they will use something that is called as snapan bear bali bear during the they will not use the same god so for that it is called as bali bear and uh, this is utsav bear that is for ha uh, uh, from main point to some destination some stories will be there okay in uh, villages also jatra will be there no at that time so brother will go to meet uh, her sister so like that story will be there the ratha will be pulled from one place to another place no so yearly once he goes to meet her sister there some another temple will be there so some reason will be there here it is uh, going to banni mantap correct no from uh, main place to banni mantap enappa hmm so they will do aida puja there okay and they will bring that banni to city no what is the significance of that so aida puja they will do there because they were keeping that uh, story is there you know our uh, billo bana everything they are keeping there so that uh, worship they will do the raja is to do that uh, now now also there is a uh, you know traditionally the eduvir will be doing that so after that they will bring banni and they will give to everyone and greet so our relation let us improve our relation something like that. correct no banni kot bangar dan gelo okay well, what is the significance of bringing that banni usually it is like in a forest okay will be bringing the wealth of forest to the city that is the significance we are bringing that wealth that's why it's called as bangara wealth of that forest to see okay so symbolically we will be celebrating this kind of thing. okay so they may ask such things so what is bal bali bear utsav bear okay snapan bear uh, for that uh, sthanik bear hmm. for sthanik St stationary it will not move at all in any situation sthanik okay that is a abhishek and uh, another one put somewhere which you can carry on the streets okay every in every
city, village, every will be this. What's up where will be there? See, this is how they frame the questions. Oh, that's a big festival in the world itself. What I can frame? Okay, let us talk about this. Anything they can ask. It may be about the history. History part means they will go back to achievements, so victories, some important places, or they may ask about painting. And 10, 20 questions can be framed. So they will choose one out of that. So when you are studying about some important thing, okay, what can come? And you also, while reading itself, you have to pick, okay, they may ask about this. So, NCRT panel has recommended to use uh, Bara, remove India and use Bharat everywhere. Uh, I don't think that is a good move. So, at least you could have, they could have said, like you in bracket, India is already there. If you want, put to Bharat, put everyone. No problem. Another 10 lines of printing will be done. But replacing, meaningless. In constitution, both names. See, it is about emotion. Already attached. India means I am an Indian. I am correct, no? Already that is there. Okay. So, so Bharati is also fine. No problem. But uh, why to unnecessarily do that? And, okay. And sec that is that's okay. That is uh, nothing. But this one. NCIT material and Chandrayana draws eye of mixing science with mythology. The purpose of NCRT book, we always emphasize NCRT means, yes, you must study that. It focuses on the factual things, proper, 100% correct. If whenever we say some uh, research data says something, is it an NCRT? So that much credibility is there for NCRT. That should not be harmed. But uh, they are doing this, uh, you know, mixing science with the mythology. Okay. See here, in that, uh, what they are modifying, adding. The Vedas, the oldest of Indian texts, makes mention of various gods being transported on wheeled chariots pulled by animals, usually horses, but these chariots could also fly. Okay. So, why they are bringing this in Chandrayana chapter? You are bringing mythology and uh, later somebody will say, no, that was already achieved. Now we are just uh, going in. That's, that is not good. Okay. And here, in module Prime Minister referred to Vedas and Vimana Shastra for today's achievement. Because of studying that, uh, they are achieving this. Is it so? So this is uh, not good actually. So we must inculcate a rational and scientific temper among the students, which is a, our fundamental duty. So instead of this, if NCRT panel is doing this, that is not good. Okay. See, in literature, literature is there to think, imagine. Please understand that. Okay. It is not like, okay, in the yeah, text it is already mentioned. Yes. We say Ravi Kanadhanu Kavi Kanda. Means what is not visible for us, a poet can visualize. But the thing is, imagination, yes, it is easy. Okay. Yes, and uh, compared to achievement, I'm saying it is not that easy. Well, he, he will first always they will realize they will feel like that and uh, they will write it. That doesn't mean that it is achieved. Ravana is going in, it is imagination. So that does not mean that it was already there. It is always first to imagine, then somebody will take it as a challenge. Oh, he is writing like this. Let us do it. How to do it? Then if they will start working on that. It is not like that. They already it is existing, and now uh, oh. 
this is not the first time always people try to mix those things earlier also pm in one science congress said that plastic surgery or uh, you know organ replacement is uh, not something new to us see ganapati so this is okay so as if that was the, you know plastic surgery was done you know, so so if that is baseless that we should not talk about we should not mix okay so how to write that in the exam sir about the ncert you just uh, make it plain make it plain so ncert panel should not mix you know should develop scientific uh, you know temper okay rational thinking logical thinking among the students so it should uh, always present the facts okay how we are achieving and how is the evolution everything is there what we are learning how the okay space spacecraft works how the satellite works how the things are working we are not uh, learning from uh, you know vedas studying those as a textbooks and understanding first of all there is no mention of like how it is i mean how it is working what should be the thrust what should be the fuel so nothing is mentioned there are we studying that so you just mentioned plainly if you are the duty of the government bodies is to ensure the logical thinking and uh, promote scientific temper among the students it should refrain from mixing mythology with the science that should be the plain words no need of mentioning the pm words or something so plainly you write it they will understand you should be neutral you should be neutral while say, while saying the things that's it. <clears throat> okay so here they are talking about uh, india canada relationship actually it is getting disturbed nowadays no so why canada is important for us or why india is important for canada so this article is focusing on that aspect okay so only focus on that they are not talking about any political things just they are telling that and that should be improved for this purpose okay so for example here, here with data they are telling how much is our uh, relation like uh, how many people are there in canada as a students as permanent residents okay how they are uh, having connection with canada so some important points asta is tagolbekagiru no need to go line by line only highlight what type of relation we have for example so some are some indians are naturalized citizens okay what is what is the meaning of naturalized citizens 7 years old iddu so there are different ways to acquire the citizenship by birth if you are taking birth there then automatically will become citizen by descent your uh, parents means ancestors relation then by registration if you are continuously there and uh, registering or one more no marriage at first sikkala one more in your between uh nach naturalization is that we are pending one more ma by acquiring territory by acquiring territory automatically those people become. so naturalization is a special thing in india anyone can get uh, citizenship for example some famous personality wants to come to india so we are ready to give us indian citizenship so like that some special conditions will be there that is called as naturalization it varies from country to country it is not same exa- exactly in india as well as canada but here word came no so they will ask such things in the prelims who is a naturalized citizen okay so special th- uh, Uh, at least he should be doing one of the indian language okay and uh, if he is there for here for continuously few uh, years and uh, some special permission also can be given that parliament can decide simple word so there are that's it naturalized citizens are there definitely those people are going over oca card because india does not allow double citizenship he cannot have indian citizenship as well as canada uh, citizenship that's why another option is there to have the oca overseas citizenship of india so they are having oca card is it clear so oca card and indian passport both are different indian citizen can have indian passport 
other people can have because uh, they belong to India, but now they are citizens of Canada. Now they can have OCA. A lifetime Indian visa or semi-dual citizenship. That's why dual citizenship is not there, but it is as good as semi-dual citizenship. Because they can come to India at any time. It is as good as giving them citizenship, but it is semi, not 100% uh, citizenship. And also some are permanent residents, okay, like investor, industrialists and business people are residing there. And uh, service workers are there, low and medium skilled workers are there, temporary visitors are there. Usually they are students, Indian students are studying there. Canada, okay. So trainees, scholars, tourists, families, so these many people are there. And here that talks about data. How much important it is. So as per Canada Census 21, 1.86, I don't remember that. Remember 5% of that country population is Indians. 5% of the Canada's population is Indians. And 5% of the whole world Indian population, diaspora, is means almost 6% of the people who are living abroad, Indians, is in Canada, 6%. Exactly, it's 5.8. Huh. So, population is Indians. Okay. In overseas, Indians are residing. Out of that total population, almost 5.86% people are in Canada only. Total. Huh. Overall, in the whole That's world, Indians are spread now. Uh, 6% of Indian diaspora is in Canada, right? Yes. Okay. Huh, yes. 6% of Indian diaspora, 5.8 exactly, is in Canada. So they are just highlighting why we should maintain good relation. Because so much dependency means our people are getting benefit there. Okay. Then 40% of the total study permits to international students were issued to Indians. Out of the total students there. So, huh, 40% for outsiders. 40% is from India only. That much, uh, that many students are going on. Okay. And these many people will be affected. That is the point. Next. Canada and India are not only members of Commonwealth. That means earlier under British. That's why they are members of Commonwealth. Also, signatory to the Global Compact for Safe, Orderly and Regular Migration Agreement. Means both have signed this. Regular, orderly and uh, safe migration agreement. It means your people we should protect, our people you should mutually. Okay. So that was actually signed in Marrakesh, it is, which is in Morocco in 2018. Okay. So that uh, in that agreement, this line is there. Create condition for migrants and diasporas to fully contribute to sustainable development in all countries. Help them to achieve sustainable development goal. So help them, protect them. Okay. Then another point. India was Canada's. 10th largest bilateral trading partner. Canada's means for Canada, India is also so much important. Then Canadians visiting India spend 93 million and tourists from India exceeding almost 90,000, the highest from any single country. Many Indians are as a tourist visiting Canada, which is very highest in the whole world itself. Okay. Indians spend 3.4 billion in Canada. And historically, how we are connected. Recently, Canada asked apology for a Komagata Maru incident. What is this, sir? In uh, 1913, so 1913, when the non-governmental Swadeshi movement was over, at that time, uh, revolutionary activities were very prominent in India. 
one such prominent event as Gadar Revolution. Gadar Party, Gadar Revolution. So, which was operating from the US. So, actually, many Sikhs, many Punjabis, Muslims, Hindus, everyone went to, uh, means they used to go for uh, job search, means they used to work there. So, once uh, uh, this Komogata Maru ship, okay, so that went to Canada in 1939, saying, okay, that went to Canada. Vancouver. So actually they denied entry because of some British, that was also under British, this was also under British. So they made some rules because uh, they don't want to encourage uh, Indians and support Indians because they were planning revolts and also some other reason, some work permits were not allowed. So they did not allow in Canada. So from there that ship went back. Okay, went back to US. Then uh, at that time, Gadar, first thing that uh, Canadian uh, refused that ship. No, for that they asked, sorry, we because under where does it our country refused your ship? For that uh, we are sorry. They asked sorry recently. Okay, Kamagata Maru incident. And uh, from USA, anyway, that is when the ship was not allowed to work there. No, they did not allow to enter the country. So these people, Lala Hardayal was there in US. Okay, anyway, we are planning one movement in India. So they said that, please be part of that movement. Actually, they went for work purpose. Anyway, we are going back. At least, uh, you know, help us, means work for uh, India, for our movement. So they agreed. Okay, so that ship came back. That ship came back directly to Kolkata. The plan was, it was a flop thing. Because, uh, see, if you do in secrecy itself, British will uh, suppress it. But they planned in such a way that they have announced everything in advance in India. Okay. That we are going to launch a movement. Do you think that they will sit uh, quietly? So they came to Kolkata and uh, the plan was, from there to go to railway station and there to move to some other place. So, and the event will be launched. So, they were, you know, British uh, uh, police was uh, welcoming with Garland and everything there. Hmm? So, that in Kolkata, some big clash happens. That uh, Burj Burj station is there, Kolkata. Okay. But the station is famous for this one. Means they suppress them immediately. What they did, all this they know that these are mainly from Punjab. So force them to go to Punjab, go back to your native. No movement, nothing. So they suppressed this. The other uh, event was failed. This Komagata Maru incident because of that we sent you back. So for that we are sorry. Canada asked that. That is a historical uh, relation. See, among Indian diaspora, 7,70,000 people are from Sikh religion. And you know that this is the event connected to that Sikh Khalistani movement only. Separate uh, straight for Sikhs in India. Sikhs of Indian origin dominate the Canadian tapestry. Means obviously they are majority there. Right? That is why, again, vote bank politics. So if they support them, then they will get votes there. That's why they are supporting Khalistani movement. Okay, that is what is the clash. Okay. So that's what May 23rd, 1914. When the when the steamship uh, SS Komagata Maru arriving in Vancouver with 376 Indian passengers. Because British British law did not allow them to get down there. So that's what in the uh, Sikh, uh, Hindus, Muslims, Christians, everyone was there. They wanted to work in Canada. But uh, they sent them back. So in 2014, a stamp was released commemorating 100th anniversary of the arrival of SS Komagata Maru released by the Canada Post. They released. See, if they ask such question in prelims, huh, you are gone. 
why they will uh, ss com means you will be studying about komagata maru incident in history you will feel okay government of india might have released correct no because this is important for us but as a part of apology they are uh, releasing means that uh, stamp canada so that's what formal apology was also asked in the house their parliament kamagata maru incident is a stain on canada's past see that is small thing compared to jalian wallabag massacre british are not ready to ask apology they killed so many people here no killing nothing just they sent that ship back for that they are asking sorry but uk even for a such big thing also they are not asking sorry okay so that's it that means this is how we will learn okay country country relation now at least you know something about india canada how it is there so similarly one time sri lanka one one time bangla one time japan some so you'll start understanding about whole world with respect to india not everything we cannot study each and everything in other country so this you can read it that is uh, dalit politics means how that organizations are uh, started in india how they are a victim of something how they are dividing among themselves so how actually they should uh, try uh, uh means act in the society so that story you can read no problem so mitigating the tragedies in the himalayan region because one more incident was reported about himalayan region so definitely that will be framed as a question okay i hope you can read this they are talking about the same on disaster okay so glacial uh, lake outburst in sikkim along the tista river so you can read this it is not difficult and this data point is also talking about the disaster please take the points from here losses from extreme events in last 31 years is 3.8 trillion that means earning of india in one year india whole india not indian government that exam to understand one country's one year's income is wasted because of this disasters okay number of disaster events increased from 100 per year to 400 see that what else evidence you want earlier before in 1970 100 events were used to record now it is 400 per year every year we are recording 400 disasters so the charts are from food and agriculture organization fao the impact of disaster on agriculture food security okay see uh here it is showing the chart 1 this chart number of disasters grouping in total economic losses in billions so geophysical hydrological meteorological and other what is the difference between hydrological and meteorological what is the drought basically drought and you know who will tell ha enappa
करेक्ट है व्हाट इज ड्रॉट शॉर्टेज ऑफ वाटर ओके सो दैट कैन हैपन इन मल्टीपल वेज सो यू मस्ट नो द नेम्स हाइड्रोलॉजिकल ड्रॉट इज डिफरेंट मीटरोलॉजिकल ड्रॉट इज डिफरेंट सोशियोलॉजिकल ड्रॉट इज डिफरेंट एंड वन मोर योर बेटर नो हाँ ना ना ड्रॉट हाइड्रोलॉजिकल मीटरोलॉजिकल अग्रिकलर ड्रॉट एंड सोशल ड्रॉट फोर थिंग सर नहीं वालों बड़े ड्राट ड्राट के लिए चाहिए करेक्ट है सो देर आर ओके व्हाट इज़ द डिफरेंस आठ दिन बाद तने को तेरे लाइन डिफरेंस चलेगा व्हाट इज़ द डिफरेंस दिलीप मैं लकी था कुत्ता इतना सो हाइड्रोलॉजिकल ड्राट इज़ प्यूरली ट्रैकिंग अबाउट स्केयर सिटी ऑफ वाटर एग्रीकल्चर ड्राट scarcity of moisture content in the air water will be there rainfall will be there but sufficient moisture is not there got it sufficient moisture content is not there that is agriculture drought hydrological drought talks about water mala ne agil neer illa source of water is not sorry mala agil anna tappu source of water it may be lake or anything agriculture drought moisture content meteorological drought Yes, meteorological drought. That is usually normal uh, rainfall will be predicted by the IMD. Usual rainfall. So they say that this year below normal, this year above normal. That means if it is below normal, then whatever usual rainfall happens, if it is below that, that is called as meteorological. Got it? Then what is social drought? What is social drought? Hmm? What is social drought? See. Whether rainfall is there or not, the scarcity of food. So, if they are not able to manage properly, that is called a social drought. See, in World War, we will see now, like uh, in British uh, took all the rice and everything to their uh, soldiers. So, we are left with nothing. That is an example of social drought. If you manage properly, even though rainfall is not there, even though moisture content, whatever is not there, still you are having sufficient food. Means that is not social drought. Drought is. Are there so four type of drought? Okay, so here hydrological, meteorological, and because of that, Arthak, the meteorological under below normal. So because of that, this see if year on year that loss is increasing. Okay, so here estimated loss in various product groups. <laughs> so. Again, the same thing: cereals, in fruit, vegetables, sugar crops. Because of this disasters, loss in that particular food crops, and uh, here it is talking about because of cyclone, what is the loss? Earthquake, multiple hazard, tsunami, and based upon the countries, see who are impacted more. Low income countries are impacted more. See, this is uh, the Indian evidence take one. Obviously, poor will be impacted more. low income countries are impacted compared to upper income uh, countries <laughs> region wise see africa is affected too much okay Oh, the, huh. Yeah, region-wise, they are showing who uh, you know yeah how much percentage they lost. Actually, Asia lost to forty-five percent. Americans lost to twenty-two percent. Europe lost to 
17 percent africa lost 15 percent and you also need to look at the area so don't just say sir this is more okay area wise also you have to see anyway just remember that how much loss each area is facing and the data says everything correct low income countries are affected most because of this uh, disasters this is how you have to substantiate your answer in the exam got it so this is about uh, you can just give you 5 minutes about olympics because india announced we will become host in 2036 is it fixed final so many countries are telling that we will be hosting that so let us see what who will be finalized so how they will decide how they will decide see they it should be in line with the uh, uh, like uh, sustainable development goals also you cannot construct for, for olympic purpose uh, all new stadiums everything who is having already 80% infrastructure ready only 20% they have to do for them they will award earlier it was, it was not like that it is up to you you decide no now it is not like that we will simply not put burden who will uh, who is having ready infrastructure and or you must show that already it is in our plan to construct next uh, 5 years to 10 years these many stadiums everything is in our plan so anyway we are constructing so we will use it for olympics that is fine or you must uh, just create a temporary shelter uh, means temporary grounds everything and conduct because it should not harm the environment you have to i know so many people will uh, question no you are uh, destroying forest and constructing this because for olympics you need a large amount of space and all so on that some uh, rules are relaxed so you have to plan like this so that about that they are talking no 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 ha ah. ah but olympic rules are like this they are thinking like this okay so if olympics is hosted in india that is a great thing sir mm. within i don't know but we have not conducted uh, huh. so if it becomes this is after commonwealth games 2010 so this will be like a biggest thing that is good thing let us see what happens but in 2036 so in science these kind of questions only will come sim card okay what is what time is here okay so oh, at least you should be knowing some uh, technical terms what is sim card what is sim card full form subscriber identification module to recognize you that is the card subscriber identification module okay then <laughs> i msi what is this international mobile subscriber identity okay so in global level so sim card is at the local level in international level imsi then what is gsm anyway one day i will take about uh, the generations how actually it evolved completely what is this gsm global system of mobile communication we are all using gsm network right gsm right we are ours is all gsm okay so earlier some reliance here release some phones where you cannot put change sim card only directly have to purchase mobile do you remember that that is not uh, that was not under gsm okay see that was under cdma technology okay but this is gsm we are all using gsm global system for mobile communication standard 
for that sim card is mandatory without sim card that will not work for this network sim card is mandatory for cdma no sim card required that mobile itself will uh, take care of it. So we have seen big SIM cards. Okay. After that, uh, small nano SIM card. So now next is eSIM. Okay. eSIM. eSIM card. So that is uh, like a CDMA. Now in the mobile, that is permanently fixed in the mobile itself. Okay. You cannot remove and uh, change it. Is it clear? Sir, then how we can uh, choose the company? That can be loaded for the same SIM card. The information will be loaded whether you want Airtel, BSNL, or what of so you can uh, load in that itself. That is the next. See, they will frame a question on prelims. E SIM, how it will work? Okay, in CDMA, you cannot change network also. Okay, but here you can choose the SIM card will be fixed, but you can you have to load. That is the next one. That's what they can easily switch the network. They will ask this one only statement one in eSIM. So yeah, it is a permanent area fixed in the phone, correct? In eSIM. So whatever network it is having, you have to use that. No, you can switch the network without changing the SIM. Now you have to change the company SIM, right? So now no need to do that. Only they will upload the software and change the data in there. Okay. See, network operator simply has the has to reprogram eSIM, which can all also be done remotely okay internet connected so directly they can change it e sim is having two advantages it is considered to be environment friendlier than physical sim because you are not pasting again and again only one sim it is a uh, reprogrammability means no need for no more plastic and metal for new sim correct then it uh, if malicious person gains access to your phone they won't be able to separately access a sim application now it is happening they will change the SIM card and start using it. Now they cannot do that. So automatically theft of mobile phone will stop because they cannot do anything. There's at least a disadvantage. eSIM can be programmed by subscribe. This is difficult for those with a low digital literacy. Second, eSIM can be theory. It allows network operators to track subscriber data, including inside absent. This is a privacy issue because they have control. So easily they can get on the phone and everything. That is the negative of this. But in prelims, yes, beautiful question will be framed. Got it? SIM card will be controlled. This way it can be changed, programmed from other end remotely. That means they are also having control with the SIM. In SIM, you can store data, everything, right? So they can get the data, right? That is the problem. Sir, this will be controlled by? Which one? eSIMs. Sorry? Sir, eSIMs will be controlled hmm. by whom? Like the. No, it is like manufacturer will put say empty card. That car. Like you want to Reliance means you'll take, you want to Airtel means you'll take Airtel service. So just application, they will get that uh, program will be installed everywhere. Remotely, they can change. They will put their data, means controlling signals, everything. So they will uh, program it to use the Airtel. Uh, so the manufacturer will put empty sim enamma so the number will be fixed number will not be fixed it is up to you once you take you can uh, that is option is there you can uh, now itself it is there no number you can uh, port to any network same number you can shift from network to network what so is that is called as mobile portability mnp 
सेम नंबर यू कैन हैव इन यू कैन शिफ्ट टू अदर नेटवर्क बट यू कैन मेंटेन द सेम नंबर हियर दैट विल बी कंटिन्यूड येनामा सर देन हाउ विल दिस रिड्यूस द थेफ्ट ऑफ फोन फॉर मोबाइल फोन्स हाउ इट विल रिड्यूस दिस सी अर्लियर व्हाट दे यूज्ड टू डू दे रिमूव द सिम कार्ड एंड दे विल पुट देयर सिम कार्ड इट बिकम्स समवट डिफिकल्ट नाउ दे कैन नॉट रिमूव दैट सिम कार्ड that number still will be active so easy to catch them if they switch on the phone that will be there but option is there like they can reprogram it no immediately they will try to reprogram it. that is not so difficult if other person can change that content they will also do it. okay yes Okay. So from this, they can get the data to score the SIM card. Yes. Now it is not connected to anyone. No SIM card. Later, that in this SIM, it is connected to that uh, to stop it. Okay, some settings to lock in your phone. Something don't know. Once it comes, we'll see. Okay. 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 Okay.